One of the best Android phones of the year is getting its biggest software update yet. Let's take a look at what's new in Android 7.0 Nougat for the Samsung Galaxy S7. Samsung's Android software has come a long way since the multicolored mess of previous generations, and the latest version of TouchWiz, if you still want to call it that, looks better than ever. No more obnoxious primary colors, Samsung's new UI is all about brilliant whites and the occasional blue accent, with many frames and other borders kept to a minimum. Even core apps like the dialer and messaging clients have adopted this new minimalist look and feel. For my money, it's a really refreshing change. Samsung's jazzed up its icons a bit too, you might remember these graphics from the Note 7, and now you can enjoy them in a non-exploding phone. The whole rounded rectangle thing isn't really new, but it seems to make more sense visually in this new version. And if you're not a fan of squircles, that's our name for these half-square, half-circle things, you can easily disable them for third-party apps. Settings have been completely overhauled as well. The settings app itself has been given a much needed trim compared to the rat's nest of menus we had under Marshmallow, and there are even shortcuts to take you to related settings at the bottom of each page. Quick settings are more useful than ever too. You can customize the grid size to see more at once, and the updated Quick Connect menu makes it easier to manage any Bluetooth gadgets you might have connected. In fact, you can change the scaling of the entire UI now as well. True, Samsung already had condensed mode before, but this gives you finer control over your information density. It's really useful on the larger display of the GS7 Edge. Also lurking in the display settings menu, an actual resolution slider, just like you might see on a desktop computer. On Nougat, the GS7 actually defaults to Full HD as opposed to the native Quad HD resolution. On the smaller, flatter GS7, you might not even notice this change, and if you can't tell the difference, well, maybe it'll save you a bit of battery power. Speaking of the display, there's now a blue light filter mode as well, a feature that's growing in popularity all the time, which supposedly helps you reduce eye strain at night, and helpfully you can now enable it on a schedule that's tied to your local sunrise and sunset times. Even when the screen is off, the GS7 is smarter on Nougat, with a range of new always-on display options that you also might remember from the Note 7. While I feel like Samsung's overthinking things compared to the simplicity of Google's ambient display, at least you can see icons from all apps now, in addition to lots of new clock faces and extra options like a calendar view. Samsung phones have had multi-window mode since way back in 2012, so long ago we have to use this ironic sepia filter. But the introduction of native multi-window and Nougat means this stuff now works with a bunch more apps. The regular split-screen mode works much the same as before, but pop-up view is transformed into basically a full freeform window mode, with all the buttons and functionality you'd expect from that. It's only something I very occasionally use, but it's a nice option to have. If you really want to dig down into the nitty-gritty technical stuff, the new maintenance area will do some number crunching and let you know how your phone's doing, pointing out potential problems like power-hungry apps and extraneous files that might be taking up space. As an additional help with performance and battery life, there are a bunch of different performance modes now which are supposed to be tuned to different types of use, for example gaming or movie watching. I haven't felt the need to touch any of these myself, but hey, at least the option's there. On top of all that Samsung goodness, you get all the benefits that come as standard in Android Nougat, features like the enhanced new notification system with bundled notifications and quick reply built in, and that's alongside performance and battery life improvements through Doze on the Go, which helps apps use less power when running in the background. Check out our Nougat feature roundup video for a look at all the stuff that comes as standard in Android 7.0. All in all, it's an enormous, meaningful upgrade for the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. With new features and a new look, the GS7 stands up well next to more recent arrivals. And we also have a really solid foundation for Samsung to build upon with the Galaxy S8. Be sure to hit the comments let us know how you're getting on with Nougat on the GS7, or if you're still waiting on that elusive update notification, and subscribe so you don't miss a video in future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.